Hello. I love going out for walks and whenever I go out I tend to pick things up and sometimes I bring them home. So as I'm stuck indoors now I've been looking around at some of the things that I've brought home and just reflecting on them. Things like this little piece of driftwood. I love walking along the beach and I can't resist picking things up. And I've picked up quite a lot of driftwood. This piece is beautiful. It changed. It's tumbled in the sea long enough to have its bark stripped. And it's surprisingly light, so something of its substance has gone as well. But it's beautiful. It's lovely. It's altered. And it's changed. I've picked up other things on the beach, like this shell. It's a limpet shell. It would have been different colours, but it's, it's rubbed smooth by the sea. And I've got quite a lot of these pebbles. Pebbles from the beach. Beautiful and smooth and round, revealing all the lovely strata within, the colours and the shapes. And my house is filled with them. Last weekend I had the time to gather some of my larger pieces of driftwood and I've made a sculpture of them and I've put them on the wall and I sit looking at them and they're utterly different and all unique and completely changed. At the moment we're being entreated by the powers that be to stay indoors, not to break the lockdown, to keep going with staying at home so that we don't invite a second wave of a peak of more cases of coronavirus. And it's hard. I'm an outdoors sort of person and I like being out so that I can collect all this sort of bits and pieces. And being indoors all the time is difficult. But we do need to persevere with the things that matter. And that's the same with our walk, our journey, our time with God as well. We do need to persevere. Persevere so that, like this piece of driftwood, our tough exterior, the bit that we show to the world, is eventually worn away so that we can be honest and vulnerable and true and if we allow the Holy Spirit in then we can be transformed and made beautiful. Transformed like this pebble which was once spiky and rough like the pebbles in the garden which I disregard. I don't pick them up because they're not beautiful. This pebble may have been tumbled over and over and over in the sea for decades, perhaps even hundreds of years. It would have taken time and perhaps, if a rock could feel, it would have been quite painful. But the result is that it is made beautiful. For us, with more time than we would normally have in lockdown, for those of us who are Christians, who want to know God better, for those of us who are following the path of a spiritual discipline, that journey might also be hard, rough, longer than we expected. But the reward is that we get to know our Lord and Saviour better. The reward is that we spend more time with him the reward is that we get to hear his voice and know how he thinks and live and move and have our being in him, as the Apostle Paul said. The Apostle Paul also wrote to the church at, at Galatea, Galatia, I don't know how to pronounce it. We call it the book of Galatians, the Christian church made up of the Galatians, received a wonderful letter from Paul. 
you said as part of that, so let us na- not grow weary in doing what is right, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. However you're feeling about lockdown, however you are feeling being at home and not able to get out, persevere that you may become beautiful in the sight of the Lord, that you may have those rough edges gently ground down by a loving God, that you may be made beautiful in his sight. Keep safe.